Hi, farm to family members. Welcome. This is Brooke from Just Roots Farm here with our March unboxing video. Welcome spring. We're looking forward to getting away from a lot of our root crops and moving more into leafy greens and summer vegetables. Our share is still jam-packed with tons of delicious foods, and in this video you'll find some recipes and ideas for using these fruits and vegetables in our share, and also some tips on how to prepare them. Those are at the end of the video. If you have any questions, you can always email me. My email is brooke at justroots.org. Let's look at the ingredients in our box. Beets are an earthy tasting root crop and to cover up some of that earthiness, I like to roast them in the oven with vinegar. They pair especially well with balsamic vinegar if you have that on hand. We put a recipe for beetroot tiki in the description. These are sort of like beet burgers that are made with potato, spices, cilantro, oats, breadcrumbs, green onions, and ginger. We also put in a recipe for Hasselback beets. See the end of this video to learn how to cut Hasselback style. Our share included these little sprouts that eventually grow into rainbow carrots. Rainbow carrots are beautiful and provide more complex flavor profile than regular orange carrots. Generally, I find the orange to be the sweetest, but I enjoy the balance that purple, reds, and yellows provide to the mix. The description features a simple oven roasted rainbow carrot, but I suggest you try to match stick them or shave them to feature in a salad. That way they don't lose their bright colors during the cooking and they're really a treat to have. I also added a recipe with a maple Dijon glaze that's super delicious. Potatoes are the wonder tuber of the world. There are so many varieties and they are staples and dishes across the world. They are also just so versatile. This month we recommend trying an oven roasted potato with homemade garlic aioli or this three ingredient smashed potato with marinara sauce. Do you recognize this plant? Any ideas to what lives in the soil just below these leaves? These are sweet potatoes. They pair very well with chicken, chickpeas, curries, turkey, wild rice, carrots, coconut, corn, rosemary, cinnamon, and clove. Check out this recipe for sweet potatoes stuffed with sesame, ginger, and chickpeas. We added some more hassle back ideas in there too. Next up is baby leaf lettuce. This is my favorite time of year to eat lettuce. The baby greens are fresh, extra nutrient rich, and they're less bitter than larger older leaves. It's easy to munch on them plain, try it, and I encourage you to play with making your own dressings. See the link in the description for home making a number of popular dressings. I'm sure you know what to do with apples. You can just eat them. Uh, I, but in terms of storage, I like to store my apples in the crisper drawer in my fridge. I have apples that I picked in September that are still in my crisper doing just fine. Place them in that drawer. If you want, you can add a plastic bag with holes in it to cover the apples or like a damp paper towel and they're gonna last for a long time. Uh, for apple connoisseurs, there's a link in the description as to how to match the apple to the recipe and something unique, a savory apple hash. Go ahead and check those out. You might be asking, what is sauerkraut? Sauerkraut is just fermented cabbage. Fermentation basically makes it easier for us to uptake and absorb nutrients that are in that cabbage or other vegetable and provides us with a ton of good bacteria to aid our digestion. So sauerkraut is really tangy, almost vinegary tasting and we provided a recipe for sauerkraut bacon and bean soup as well as a vegan potato sauerkraut pancakes if you want to use those up but you can also eat them eat it straight out of the jar or add it to a salad uh, once you get the taste for it you'll start to crave it mini sweet peppers are great raw as a lunchbox snack for kids so popular actually they named a variety of the pepper after it and maybe add in some dips like hummus or ranch for kids to snack on. They're also just great in salad, and mini sweet peppers tend to be more flavorful than traditional bell peppers, or like little flavor-packed pepper bites. Here's a recipe for feta and spinach stuffed mini peppers, along with a simple roasted mini peppers dish. 
We have a ton of broccoli recipes in previous unboxing videos from creamy broccoli cheddar soup to simple oven roasted broccoli. Go ahead and check those out. In the meantime, here's a unique broccoli cold salad featuring craisins and bacon and the recipes in the description. We featured a few great recipes in previous videos on how to use tomato puree. Uh, there's shakshuka, a um, chilaquile recipe, and making your own pasta sauce. Can't believe we haven't done this yet, but here's the good old tomato soup. If you want to hassle back your beets, start by cutting off two ends. And I use chopsticks so that my knife doesn't go all the way through like this. But if you don't have chopsticks, you can still do this. Just be extra careful to make sure you're making slices that aren't going all the way to the bottom of the beet. You can roast them in the oven with balsamic vinegar and some olive oil and salt and pepper. And try this with potatoes or other root vegetables. I like to peel my carrots before I match stick them to help bring out more of their color. And I'll cut a chunk off that I want to use. The top is easier and slice those into thin slices. And then once those are sliced, I'll stack as many as I safely can and then cut them into smaller matchsticks. This is great for making a carrot salad or adding them onto salad. Um, I just love how they look. That's all we got for this month's unboxing video. Thanks for staying with us. Make sure to check out our website, uh, justroots.org, to look for more recipe ideas, and please feel free to reach out with any questions or concerns you might have. Thanks and have a good one.